School coverage continues now. Thousands of students returning to the classroom today. Students and teachers, including in Rhode Island's largest school district. And Kristen Brunell is live in Providence this morning with a message from the school superintendent as they start the new school year. Anyone showing up yet, Kristen? Uh, good morning, Kate and Patrick. Nobody's shown up just yet, but it is going to be a busy morning here in Providence and across the state as students start heading back to the classroom this morning for their first day of school. Now, just last week, it was announced that Providence Public Schools will remain under state control for three more years after Rhode Island's Education Commissioner made that recommendation to renew the turnaround plan through October 15th, 2027. Meanwhile, the district superintendent says he is happy about the progress they have made so far since the pandemic. The gains that we have been doing, even through the pandemic and after pa coming out of the pandemic, we're still in it, but it's, you know, after the pandemic. And in Providence, I've, I said it from day one when I became superintendent or acting superintendent, I said that Providence would become the destination of education. And I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that my, that my leaders, my teachers, my, my community, my students are going to do this. We are going to do this together. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll take a look at some of the updates that the district hopes to make in the new school year. For now, reporting live in Providence, Kristen Burnell, 12 News. New video into our newsroom of city and state leaders kicking off their first day of school tour at the first student bus yard in Providence. The Education Commissioner, Superintendent, who you just heard from, you can see the governor there and the mayor are among those in attendance. They're visiting three district schools, which the school department says has made strides to meet the goals of the turnaround action plan. Uh, there are students coming back to school this year in brand new spaces and uh, and they're excited. I hope to see those spaces. I've talked to the teachers. They've been moving in and they feel great about their new spaces. Uh, and uh, we've got some new technology on our school buses to keep our students safe with uh, cameras to ensure that cars don't go around uh, the stop sign to keep our students safe and uh, and bus monitors and bus drivers as well. Back to school week two continues with many districts having their first day today, including Attleboro, Bristol, North and South Kingstown and Providence. Kristen Burnell joining us live from the capital city. Look at some of the enhancements they hope to make this new school year. Good morning, Kristen. Well, good morning, Kate and Patrick. As you can probably see behind me, some of these Providence students have started arriving here to Hope High School this morning for their first day of school, along with thousands of other students across the state as well. Now, there are some changes in place in the new school year here in Providence. Longer school days will be ending. The district added an additional 30 minutes of instruction during the last school year. Officials say that the district does not have the funding needed to continue that extra time. Meanwhile, Providence Superintendent Dr. Javier Montañez tells us they are looking to make enhancements their, to their career and technical education programs this year. Also looking at some of the CTE programs that we have around the district right now, we're up to I think it's 26 or 27 CTE programs, which is giving our students the opportunity to say career or something else. And it's giving them the option they can do both. They can do one, you know, which one do they want to do? It's giving them the option. Now, 12 News is also there this morning as several city and state officials tour several different Providence schools across the city on their first day. The education, or education commissioner spoke about some of the changes being made in the district as they enhance their turnaround action plan. So there's a couple of things that we will see new in many of our schools is new media centers. Um, a lot of our buildings have been worked on. We have four new buildings. Um, you're going to see labs, uh, brand new labs um, for our life sciences, but really a heavy focus on the curriculum, the learning. As you said, uh, the TAP really emphasizes that. We want our kids to keep moving. And as we heard from the Harvard report this year that Providence had um, the le least um, learning loss and the most um, advancement. So we're really excited. We want to just keep that going. Providence will also host two community conversations about education this year in September and December. The first with the mayor will be held on Saturday, September 14th. Reporting live in Providence this morning, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.